Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. If you are new, then subscribe to this channel because on this channel, I share ideas, insight, tools and tactics that can help you grow in the software industry. So if you want to grow really, really fast in the software industry, then subscribe to this channel now and press the bell icon so that you will know when I go live on this channel. Uh, Sudeep Kothari. Hi Sudeep, how are you? Sir, what is the difference between learning in college and applying it in the industry? So Sudeep, uh, both are very important. So in college, we learn a lot of theory. Okay. I'll give you a very simple example. Okay. If you if you want to understand automobile engineering, you need the foundation of physics, correct? And when we are talking about foundation of physics, you have to start with the Newton's law of motions, correct? Newton's laws of motions is the most basic uh, laws which are taught in 10th standard, they will be taught in 12th standard, they will be taught in engineering, they will be repeated again and again and again and again, okay? so that when you become an automobile engineer you understand this very well because that is the foundation of automobile engineering without those laws of motion your automobile cannot work okay in the similar manner when you're learning in college you are learning the foundation okay first you are learning the foundation of programming and a very simple at a very simple level Programming is a set of functions, okay, that you execute on a computer to make the computer do whatever you want it to do, okay. So let us say on the screen you want to draw a square, so you will write a function in which you will write the code to draw a square on the screen, correct. Now we have advanced to such a level that nowadays you don't have to write that function. You can just call uh, maybe a library which will have a function called square. You can just say square and you can give the uh, the X and Y coordinates and you can give the length and the um, you, you can give the what is the size of the square and automatically it will start from that particular point and it will draw the square on the screen. So that is the foundation that is if you don't understand how that coding works, you will never be able to do the advanced coding. Correct. Then the other foundation is data structures. Data structures is actually the abstract representation of data of real life data in coding. So how do you define data in a code? Let us say I want to define a car. Okay. So how do I define a car within my code? Okay, I may have the size of the car, I may have the weight of the car, I may have the make model of the car, I may have a complete design of the car. So graphical, I may I may write a code about the graphical user interface of how the car model looks like. Correct? But this is all data. And this is not the actual car. This is just representation of the real life object of car on your computer that is the reason data structures is so important in programming that is the foundation of programming correct and then there is algorithm algorithm is the sequence of events of how you write your program so these three are the foundations and without this foundation if you go into programming and i see a lot of people who start with programming who start writing the code but they do not understand this foundation they do not understand how the computer works they do not understand what is a cpu what is a memory what are the resources within a computer they don't know what is a bus within a computer so because of that they don't know internet internet how does it work how does http html work okay what is a tcp ip and how do, how does it work when you don't know all these things, then you become a computer programmer, then you're not going to be a very, very good computer programmer because you cannot use all the resources of the computer. So understanding all these things is done in the college. 
learning all these things gaining the knowledge about a computer how it works about the internet how it works about not knowing a little bit of history of how everything works how does a database how does a relational database work how does a database um, how how do you build uh, build an application using a database how do you store the data within the database okay how do you retrieve data how do you uh, delete data how do you view data all these things are the foundations okay when you learn all these things your foundation is built and in the industry now you are going to build a real life application now if you are a software engineer if you are a fresher and if you join an industry you might be given uh, a job of a production support or application support engineer and why such a job is given so that you understand how the application works because the application will be huge if your application is an enterprise level application let's say you get hired into amazon okay let's say you get hired into amazon as a software engineer as a fresher in software engineer they will not directly put you on some code they will start you at a small place where they will say okay uh, under under some some project manager or a project lead you will be writing some code which may be very small functions okay i just have to do this i have to interact with uh, i have to call this service i have to get this data i have to process this data and i have to then uh, put this data back maybe that is the code you have to write maybe it takes you one day to understand that and write it but that will be small and you might just have a title of application support engineer or a production support engineer or you are just getting to fix bugs the idea is you start getting acclimatized with how the application is designed because application is huge okay once you start understanding this maybe slowly you may be uh, progressing to building a complete module within an application let us say your company is building an order module okay for that it has it requires one order page and when a per person puts in all the information of the order and presses the button then it goes and it goes on the payment page and then all the payment details are done then it goes and does something else so there is a flow of this application and you are in charge of building this entire flow this can happen after 2 to 3 years after you have really shown that you are capable of doing this if you join a startup all these things will happen within a very short time because you will have to uh, do a trial and error and get to where you are correct so uh, learning in the college is all about building your foundation and don't uh, don't leave that build your foundation really well because this will be useful when you are uh, working in the industry okay this will be very useful i'm not saying that get really good marks because uh, gaining knowledge has nothing to do with marks gaining knowledge has nothing to do with marks so i'm not talking about marks here i am talking about really understanding the foundation if you don't understand certain concept repeating those uh trying to read it again and again and trying to understand trying to take help of your professors trying to take help of your friends and understanding those concepts so that you are job ready when you come out you know the basics of entire programming so that you can be job ready right from day one okay so the difference between learning and industry is that in industry you are going to do something which is real life which will be installed on a client's uh, premises which will be working for a client some real user will be using your application and there won't be dummy data there will be real data there will be real data so you'll have to make efforts to make this look good make your application look good make sure the application works perfectly there are no bugs left in your code okay make the application easy to use the user interface is good that it flows smoothly so good that your client is happy with what you are doing okay so that is the difference between your college and industry one thing that you can do in college is when you are building an application you build an application which is really good so good that somebody looks at it and says 
wow this is an application which is industry standard okay because industry has a huge standard and understand this that when you are in college you are building an application two three people in real life in industry okay like for example microsoft windows uh, 95 programming there are 300 400 engineers who are working on one product okay we were we were a company where we were 30 40 engineers working on one product so just imagine the kind of application that we are building in real life it is huge okay cannot be described between what you are doing in college but your foundations is going to help this lot of uh, engineers are like oh whatever i am learning i am never going to use it no you are still going to use it intrinsically because if your foundation is not strong your future programming is not going to be good okay you will be always struggling with programming so build a really good foundation build a really good foundation okay and all those engineers who have started working and who feel their foundation is not good go and read the foundation again go and read a entire data structures book just read it don't worry about whether you will grasp it or not because you are working you will grasp it quickly because you will see the examples that is working in your uh, your company okay read a complete information on uh, relational database management read some good books that will help you in building those foundation if you have not built it while in college okay so there is no 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 age and time to learn if you have missed it then uh, so i hope sudeep uh, <coughs> uh, this helps you understand what is the difference between learning in college and applying it in the industry this is a huge difference okay and uh, i would say that wait for uh, your turn in the industry and you will learn quickly what what it is there if you have not yet subscribed to this channel then subscribe because on this channel i share ideas insight tools and tactics that will help you grow so subscribe now and press the bell icon also share this channel with all of your friends i do this live every thursday thank you very much see you in the next live